Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Tech Basics. In this video, we are going to be learning how to use Viber on iPhone as beginner. Viber is a free messaging app that allows you to make calls, send messages, and share photos and videos with your friends and family. To start using Viber on your iPhone, first of all, you'll need to download and install the application on your iOS device. So let's go ahead and dive into the video. Step 1. Downloading and installing Viber The first thing to do is to launch open your app store. Go to the search box at the top and type in Viber and search. Once you come across this application from this search result, tap on the download button to start downloading Viber on your iPhone. Wait for the application to download and install which will take a couple of minutes. Step 2. Setting up Viber Open up the Viber application once it is installed by tapping on the open button. Allow necessary permissions such as notifications or any other permission by tapping on allow button. If you don't want to allow notification on your Viber app, tap on don't allow. Allow Viber to access microphone on your device by tapping allow. Now, click on the start now button at the bottom. Select your country and enter your phone number in the text box and tap on continue. You will now need to enter the verification code sent to your Viber. After verifying your phone number, you will then be able to create a profile and enter a username for your Viber account. Grant Viber access to your contacts if necessary and once you are done, you will then be able to end up in this main homepage. Step 3. Start using Viber. Once you are in the main homepage for Viber, you will end up in the chat screen. From the chat screen, compose a text message to one of your contacts. Tap on the little pencil icon at the top right hand corner and which will then show you your contact list. Select a contact you'd like to chat with and tap on their name. Now, send in the message to the contact by typing in the message in the text box at the bottom. You can also add photos and videos by tapping on plus at the bottom left. Apart from that, you can also tap on the emoji icon and you can now send GIFs and emojis to your friend. Select the content and you will then be able to send GIFs as well as stickers and photos or videos to your friend. From the chats tab, you can also create new groups on Viber. From the new chat page, go ahead and tap on new group or community option and Select multiple contacts you would like to add on your Viber group. Select as much as contacts you would like to select in the group and tap on next at the top right corner. To make phone calls on Viber, tap on the calls tab from the main homepage appearing at the bottom. You can now search for the contact by typing in their name in the top of the screen where it shows you the search bar or you can also scroll through the list of contacts from the bottom and find the person you'd like to call. Once you find the person, you can simply tap on their name and select free call option. Now, after you make a phone call, you can tap on the video icon to initiate a video call, which requires both parties to have a good internet connection. So that is how you will be able to make a phone call on Viber and send a message on it. You are now ready to use Viber if you want to adjust your settings and privacy, if you want to access various other settings such as notifications, privacy and sounds, simply go to the bottom right hand corner and tap on the more button. Once you end up in the more button, you can now edit your profile information such as your photo, account settings, privacy settings, notifications, appearance and language settings from this page. You can now start using Viber to stay connected with your loved ones. Remember to explore the app's additional features and customize it to your preference for a more personalized experience on Viber. So that was how you can easily start using Viber following these few simple steps. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Also press on the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. I will be back again in the next video. Thank you for watching.